Clinton's image is solidified, your say. Anecdotes won't erase 25 years of being in the spotlight. Letter to the editor, Michael O'Hanlon's column, Don't believe what you hear about Clinton, attempting to tell us we should trust Hillary Clinton based on one or two anecdotes, is a feeble attempt to erase 25 years of her being in the national spotlight. If someone isn't trusted, whose fault is that? Whether it's alleging Bill Clinton's affair accusations were a vast right-wing conspiracy, pretending not to know about data classification and record retention and trying to throw Colin Powell under the bus. Hiring Debbie Wasserman Schultz for her campaign after she was forced to resign after allegations of rigging the primary, and so on, people will form an opinion. Character is not fungible. Just because O'Hanlon can boast about the improved quality of Western New York wines while Clinton was the senator does not erase the years of prior and subsequent suspicious behavior. Letter to the Editor I was happy to read O'Hanlon's column about Clinton. Frankly, I never thought people saw her as dishonest or unlikable until I heard it so much from Donald Trump and his surrogates. The media began to open every other sentence about her with she has so many image issues, or some don't see her as trustworthy. I can't help but believe this constant reinforcement has done major damage to her reputation and, of course, was Trump's intent. I'm a 65-year-old woman who knows Clinton is not perfect, but I have always admired her energy, fierce strength in fighting for the less fortunate, and especially her sound judgment and undeniable intelligence in promoting and protecting American interests and values throughout the world. I also have a son who is an officer in the U.S. military. I would feel much better about my son's future and our nation's with Hillary Clinton as our next president.